guys, guys, guys. How is everybody? It's been a long time. Technical Tuesdays. Chart work. Let's get back into it. So, me personally, I've been taking a break. I'm in a nice town called Itacare, which is in the state of Bahia in Brazil, which is on the east coast. The most beautiful place I've ever been. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm revamping from life. People say when you're trading, when you blah blah blah, you need to take a break in life or break from trading, whatever. It's easier said than done sometimes because we can get so wrapped up, so wrapped up with all. All right, so what I've done, I've fucking gone um, for a month and uh, first 10 days, my 11 days in now, first 10 days I did the ayahuasca retreat, the spirit round, and I've done a full video about it, but it's just one video, it's like 40 minutes long, it's long winded as hell, but I feel like it maybe can, could connect with many, 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 many people out there. So that's gonna be uploaded tomorrow, so check that out. Uh, me personally, um, I'm just thriving in this environment, this is my natural, true environment, no alcohol, just straight fucking fruits, plants, detox, rejuvenating my mind, rejuvenating my body, sunshine in the, the oceans, the beach is fucking incredible. Um, I've learned a lot in the last week from being at the retreat than I have in about four years um, and throughout my whole school life as well. So, you know, it's interesting stuff. You want to take the path of real self development and face your inner demons and work with them and be the best you can be. Watch my next video, and again, you can feel free to message me for more information. Anyway, technicals, I've been sloppy on the charts recently. My life has been very, very sloppy in the last three months or so, because I've, in the last two years, I've put on I've done so fucking much. Relationships, business, family, trying to look after myself, trying to thrive in that environment, and this, you know, this isn't like the UK. I don't thrive in the UK environment. I need this shit. This is where I can fucking be my full potential, you know? So I'm going to go through a few charts today, take it nice, easy, steady, just reintegrate it. I'm actually reintegrating myself back into the market, back into the charts at the moment as well. Just because, again, things have been just entirely fucking hectic and over the top. I'm having a reset, major reset here. Many insights are coming to me, creative ideas about business and how I can give more back to the people. Um, not just with Astro, uh, but through a few other avenues that I have as well. I've got so much more to share and offer people besides charts, to be honest. So I'm sorry about the camera quality. I left my, my fucking battery um, in the last resort. I need to get it today to finish off the other video that I'm posting. So I'm on the FaceTime camera right now, as you can maybe tell. So I'm gonna merge this video together, do go over some technicals. My Wi-Fi isn't too good, but it's doable. You know, we can work with it, it's fine. And then I'm gonna hit the beach. I'm gonna go and eat some fruit. I'm gonna eat so much fucking fruit. It, the, the fruit here, you can pick the coconuts. I'm looking at coconut tree like that right now. Coconut water, fresh. Um, there's a fruit here called the acai berry. Some of you guys may have, have seen it. In the UK, you can get like certain supplements, superfoods and stuff, um, which is acai. Full of antioxidants, full of nutrients, full of uh, goodness, enzymes, whatever. And um, I've been drinking that every day, and I've also been eating it. It's like a sorbet, and it's so on point. It's so fucking fresh. It's the healthiest thing you can have, and your brain just goes. Boom. So um, primarily, my diet right now is just going to be fruit, fruit, sunshine, and ocean water. And yeah, I'm just taking time here and there just to catch up with the markets. You know, stay on top of the charts, uh, and so on. So anyway, that's me. Check out my next video for. All more detailed explanation as to what I've been going through and what I've been doing and hopefully I can relate to other people out there so enjoy the charts and we're back again technical Tuesdays here we go it's off with we are going to kick this off with the USD CAD so USD CAD nice little break out there breaking my daily area of resistance which is plotted on wrong hello should be there okay so we're reaching the daily resistance sorry right now that should be right on that peak wick. Okay, so we have resistance, resistance. We are coming into 1.35. Let's just say 1.3600. So USD CAD for me, uh, this region over here in which we are testing right now is a very, very delicate region. Now, with USD CAD, it's been a little bit of an enigma recently. Why? Because over here, when we dip back below the monthly resistance it was support for a while we dipped back below the monthly resistance i thought this was at least going to come and test this line bang on uh 1.3 say but we did come let's say 20 shy of that um we actually had a trade on with a group of students about two weeks ago just before i left and our target was 1.3 200 wasn't hit we did move our stops past be 
but yeah as i say that just reversed like no tomorrow <clears throat> looking at it from this perspective though we actually did on the daily time frame respect this level here 1.3275 so these levels i have on my chart right now are very very significant levels got my monthlies my weeklies my dailies four hours and so on now <clears throat> if i look at this on a weekly perspective usd cad has been extremely difficult to even read on the weekly perspective but looking at this key surprise section even from last week the momentum came sharply back to the upside we took out one, two, three, four, five, six prior weeks. So one week, boom, momentum, momentum's back up. We kind of did a little bit of a retest there. You can see the week, uh, the wick at the end of that weekly candle, this current week. So we pulled back and now we're firing off. With this guy's USD CAD for me, I am looking at 1.3700 and beyond. So this area of resistance, I do believe if we break out, we can go a little bit higher. Where, where can we go higher? Well, let's see. Uh, let's take the dynamics of that area and add it onto here. All right, so what I'm going to call on USD CAD are long opportunities for now. 3,700, okay, weekly resistance. However, due to the, the significance of the momentum change on the weekly time frame, we're looking at 1.4000. 1. So here on USD CAD, now that's my um, thesis. If we can maybe switch it up and add some FIB in here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, we have 1.3881 and we have an alignment with 1.3700. So I don't really like that fit too much. Sometimes with me, when I'm doing my chart work and analysis, if I'm feeling clear, if I'm feeling um, you know very, very present, I get an, like an inner sense of knowing when I'm doing this. It's like intuition, if that makes sense. And my intuition now tells me that USD CAD is going to go higher. 1.3700. So we're looking at another 117 pips to, to that point. If we bypass that point, 1.4. So USD CAD does have a nice amount of room to the upside, guys. Um, next, I'm going to go over to gold. Gold, 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 gold. Now, gold, um, you know, I posted it in the Telegram. Now, with Telegram as well, <laughs> my life just kind of went absolutely through the ceiling in the last, uh, let's say, month or so. And... Um, What's more or less happened is I haven't had the mental capabilities to keep up with everything around me. You can only do so much. You can only do so much. And um, I just haven't been in the zone on the charts. I've been working on other projects, doing family stuff, traveling, trying to look after myself and so on. Uh, so Telegram is doing quite well now. 14,000 members in here. Okay. I'm not so much giving direct trade calls at the moment because I'm not directly trading at the moment. So when I am, I'll be back and we'll be killing that Telegram once more. But I posted the gold setup over here in the Telegram. So the Telegram is Astro Forex and also you can, uh, that's the link there as well. So you can type that in, that link there. So screenshot it, whatever you need to do. All right, so gold for me, let's have a look at the daily time frame on gold. Now, gold is a little bit overextended, to be honest, around the 1290 level, 1280 level. And the reason I say that, sorry, come on internet. The reason I say that is because uh, $1,300 per ounce is such a highly significant barrier for gold, XAU USD at the moment. Sorry, it's playing up a little bit. And um, I believe if we can stay below $1,300 or $1,300 per ounce of gold, uh, we're looking to turn around. We are looking to turn around. I'll get, I'll get onto this euro at the moment. Just bear with me. I'm sat outside. Okay, so gold. Let's bring it over to the daily time frame. There we go. All right, so critical bearish reversal region. If we can just take these off for a moment. All right, so <clears throat> as you can see, steady rise. Steady, steady, steady. Uh, 1250 hold held quite strong. All of this consolidation, we did break higher. On one last move to the highs, we have an area here in which my experience tells me we are losing momentum, we're losing steam. When steam is lost, we can look for reversals. But what's important is that we have our barriers set correctly on the charts. And 1,300 per ounce is a barrier. You can see how, how, how my charts, there's a lot of substance, even though it doesn't look like much, there's a lot of substance in my charts for me, because I, this is my system, this is something that I've cultivated over time, and this is also something in which I programmed myself to use, utilize, and get the best out of. 1,300 per ounce, as long as we stay below that, gold's going to reverse. 
barriers to the downside on gold, guys. We have, okay, 1260, 1250, 1243, 1225. In this scenario, people may say, oh shit, I've got so many levels of support. And in this case, there's a few, but it, it's not too many for gold because gold will respect my four hourly levels a lot more so than some currencies, to be honest. Now, <clears throat> 12, 60, 70 pips of the downside, easily, easily. I will have to watch, and as a word of advice, with gold, I'll be watching the daily time frame here, because let's look at the weekly for a start. So the weekly, we had um, more or less an indecisive week. I think we were building up um, a little bit of accumulation here, because that was a big, big ass for us to the upside. We stalled, we completely stalled. That tells me momentum was there. This could have run. I can't remember because I wasn't active active in the markets um, there that time because I was traveling. But that tells me momentum or some kind of maybe even fundamental uh, event boosted gold, and then it took a big ass turning point. A big ass turning point um, around the twelve eighty twelve ninety level. So if we can continue maybe the week, and if we can close right down here, let's say 1254, 1260s, I reckon we have a huge drop on gold. I'm talking maybe even 500 pips. Now, 500 pips, ultimately, as I said, we've easily got another 70 to the downside, but the, the, the place, the region that I favor most for gold to come down to, guys, is here, around 1200, 1225 per ounce, okay? That's that. So that's my um, thesis on gold, short on gold. GJ, pain in the ass. Now, I can just cover this just for the Telegram group, to be honest, and students. Um, I was looking at 135s. I was looking at 137.50 for a while, and we so stubbornly, it was so difficult for the GBPJPY to actually reach that level. It was unbelievable. Came back, back down, chop, 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 chop. But we broke through it, and then we hit the next level of support. I did say we are expecting new lows from this level here, where I pinned on my daily area of support, and we made new lows, and we fucking rebounded big time. So GJ for me, it's a no go. I'm not even looking at this thing. Let me just get rid of that shit. <clears throat> uh, Euro USD, insane. Um, I market open this week. I had a student tag me in a post on Instagram. And this is a Fibonacci. So we had A, B, C region here. Uh, Euro USD, long buy. Buy upon any pullback. Um, because we are going higher. Where are we going? Weekly resistance, 1.0975, a nice quarter figure there. And then we're also going to be seeing 1.1012, or let's just say 1.1. Over here, 1.1. Okay, uh, Euro USD. I do believe if we can sustain the momentum to the upside, we've done it. We've we've broken out of this this region. We can sustain the momentum to the upside. We could maybe even see 1.1450s again. Could maybe even see 1.1450s again. Uh, lastly, let me just cover the Aussie dollar. All right. So nice and steady technicals. Nice and steady. All right then, okay, Aussie. All right, so Aussie dollar, we're kind of trapped between on this daily time frame. Let's let's take uh, 0 0.7500 and 0 0.7580 or uh, 7575. So 75 pip range, cush 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 cush. Now with the Aussie, it's kind of again, it's a little bit of an enigma because it's really really hard to de decipher um, on a medium term basis. Short term, it's all, it's all right to look at, um, four hourly especially, but at the moment, um, we are just floating in between this range. Um, what I would maybe suggest on the Aussie dollar, because the directional bias isn't too clear at the moment, is that four hourly trading on this would potentially be, well, potentially is the best, well, in my opinion, it would be the best. Um, if we could look at, this zone, this zone here, I see Aussie dollar personally coming to this zone and fucking flying off it, flying off it. This is a huge supply area for the Aussie at the moment. That's one scenario. The alternative scenario for the Aussie dollar would be, because if we look at the PA, we're looking at a significant high into a lower high into a lower high, respected by 7607. 
key area of resistance. And then we here we gapped up, but we, again we've respected 7575. Five. That's our um, weekly resistance. So we need to change that label. So 7500, um, this is my scenario. If we can sustain above 7500 and maybe even respect this mini little trend line that I've just placed on, Aussie dollar could be a pretty decent buy, a significant buy. Where could it go? Upside scenarios, we would have to maybe think about this. We would have to look at where stops are placed for sellers. Up here and then up here. So Aussie dollar has the capability of actually reversing from this zone, even where it is now, and then coming all the way back up. Taking this high out, taking this high out. So target wise, and we don't have to be super ambitious. We can maybe go here, 7640. If you really wanted to show us some love, we can maybe go a little bit higher, 7680, maybe even a little bit higher, but again, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Alternatively, if we do get a clear break and close, and when I say break and close, I will be again focused on the four hour time frame. Break and close below 7500, and where are we going to go next, guys? Yes, we are. We're going to go and hit our monthly support region 7400, a 100 pip move. So, Aussie Dollar, that's the setup there. Um, that's it for technicals today. Just wanted to get some content out there. I'm going to be uploading the next video uh, maybe tomorrow. So, yeah, I hope everyone has a great week and hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.